Allow me to begin on a personal note. This is a picture of me taking around the time that my grandmother was diagnosed with end-stage heart disease and sent home to die. She already had so many bypass surgeries, basically run out of plumbing at some point, confined in a wheelchair, crushing chest pain. Her life was over at age 65. Then she heard about this guy, Nathan Pritikin. My grandma was one of the death's door people, like Francis Greger, which maybe you can see if you've been eating your carrots. I doubt it, though. Um, Francis Greger, who arrived at one of Pritikin's early sessions in a wheelchair. Mrs. Greger had heart disease, Angela Claudication. Her condition so bad, she could no longer walk without great pain in her chest and legs. Within three weeks, though, she was not only out of her wheelchair, she was walking 10 miles a day. After doctors had abandoned her to die, she was given her medical death sentence at age 65. Thanks to a healthy diet, she was able to enjoy another 31 years on this planet till age 96 oh my God. to enjoy her six grandkids, including me. That's why I went into medicine. Here's a list of the diseases commonly found here and in places that eat and live like the U.S. but were rare or even non-existent in populations centered around whole plant foods. These are among our most common diseases, like obesity, for example. Hiatal hernia, the most common stomach problem. Varicose veins and hemorrhoids, two most common venous problems. Colorectal cancer, leading cancer killer. Diverticulosis, number one disease of the intestines. Appendicitis, number one cause of non-emergency surgery, abdominal surgery. Gallbladder disease, number one cause of non-emergency abdominal surgery, as well as ischemic heart disease, our commonest cause of death here, but a rarity among plant-based populations, which suggests that heart disease may be a choice, like cavities. So if there's anyone here today older than age 10, then the question is not whether or not to eat healthy to prevent heart disease, it's whether you want to reverse the heart disease you already have, whether you know it or not. Something miraculous happened. As soon as people stopped eating artery clogging diets, their bodies were able to start dissolving some of that plaque away, opening up arteries without drugs, without surgery, suggesting their bodies wanted to be healthy all along, but were just never given the chance. Let me share with you what's been called the best kept secret in all of medicine. Given the right conditions, the body can actually heal itself. It's like when people take nitroglycerin for, you know, crushing chest pain. Tremendous relief. We're not doing anything to treat the underlying cause of the disease. <coughs> Our body wants to come back to health if we let it, but if we keep re-damaging ourselves three times a day, we may never heal. This is uh, what's called a photomicrograph. You can see how it kind of, um, you know, breaks the cancer up into these little cancer continents here. But then you take these same women, put them on a Pritikin diet for two weeks later, and then retest. So lay down another layer of cancer, retest two weeks later. So they act as their own control, same women, before and after, and all you're left with is this. You see there's just a few individual cancer cells left. Their bodies cleaned up before and after just two weeks eating a Pritikin diet. The same blood now circulating throughout the bodies of these women gained the power to significantly slow down and stop breast cancer cell growth after just two weeks eating healthy. Uh, what kind of blood do we want in our body? What kind of immune system? So you can kill off a few cancer cells. You exercise for 5,000 hours, you can kill off cancer cells left and right, but nothing appears to kick more cancer tush than a plant based die. I don't mind dying, Dr. Williams replied. I just don't want it to be my own fault. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody.